More than a dozen Maine Army National Guard soldiers are back home this evening after spending almost a year in Afghanistan. We were there as loved ones reunited and found a special couple in the crowd. I'm kind of numb. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, anxious, very anxious. Audrey Kucher is a newlywed. Married just before her husband Bryant left last August for Afghanistan with the 133rd Engineer Battalion. We've been married for a year, but we haven't had our actual ceremony yet. That's going to be in October. Um, and we've been together for four years yesterday. Her niece Haley will get to meet Bryant for the first time today. And as you can imagine, we're fairly excited that the 1035th Survey and Design Team is literally just around the corner, and they should be here any minute. In an instant, the waiting's over. Don't get daddy. I'm scared. What did you miss the most being away? Her. Absolutely. A round of hugs and happy faces greeted Bryant, and he's hoping for a steak on the grill tonight. Just go home and relax and spend time together. The couple was able to communicate weekly while he was in Afghanistan. Bryant is part of the survey and design team that drafted plans for projects at Bagram Air Force Base for the engineers to execute. This group arrived at Fort Dix slightly earlier than the remainder of the battalion, and they were able to process through the demobilization station quickly, which is why they're able to come home. It's not a moment too soon for Bryant, who is proud of his wife's strength while he did his duty. Not easy. It was very difficult. Uh, I felt really bad that she had to shovel the driveway herself and all that this winter, <laughs> especially being such a bad winter, you know. But she, she amazed me with all that she was able to do without me. The homecoming happens as the military is considering whether to move the 133rd out of Maine. No decisions have been made. Major Steinbuschel says speculation has caused some anxiety, but morale remains high as families reunite and the Guard will always grow its number of soldiers, even if the mission may change. Homecomings are a military tradition uh, that we think are an important part of the reintegration process. The rest of the battalion is expected to come home early next week. That will be a group of more than 150 soldiers.